Thank you, Lori. And yes, as, as she said, this is a, I mean, it's never a topic anybody wants to have, anybody wants to talk about. I mean, there's no, 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 nothing fun about having lower testosterone levels or having issues with erectile dysfunction. And it's, you know, it's not a topic that shouldn't be covered, but it's a topic that gets dismissed and people don't want to ask the right questions. And, you know, we all know the wonderful treatments of, you know, Viagra and, or testosterone supplementation and stuff, but there's some really just basic normal things and reasons why our testosterone levels might be in the toilet. And there's reasons in, you know, sleep apnea and proper sleep is one of, is a huge, huge consideration. So, I, you know, we put together a, a presentation and a slideshow. I'll go over and discuss different topics and, you know, reasons why. And uh, we can do some questions and answers. There's, of course, uh, you can put it in the chat. You can put it in the Q&A. Um, and then we can, uh, you can, you know, ask the questions as you need. So I will get this uh, moving. I am in the wrong thing. I'm going to share screen. And here. And the connection between sleep apnea, sleep apnea and erectile dysfunction. A wonderful world. <clears throat> Can sleep apnea cause erectile dysfunction? The answer to that question is yes. Sleep apnea in general in a general general basis, your sleep is gonna either be less, significantly less hours or it's gonna be massively disrupted and the choking gas ring, lack of oxygen and the brain not going into the proper levels of sleep to successfully uh, produce testosterone for a male. Um, so yeah, it can cause erectile dysfunction. <clears throat> this is a definitely not a situation where we wanna be sitting as a guy. We don't wanna be sitting in the edge of the bed knowing that we are responsible for uh, poor performance. You know, sleep apnea and erectile dysfunction may appear uh, maybe two very separate concerns, of course. You can have one and not have the other and vice versa. Uh, but multiple studies are showing that poor sleep quality and chronic sleep deprivation does increase the, and disrupt your sex life. It increases the risk of developing heart problems, heart disease, and other serious health problems. You know, there's a general link between sleep apnea and erectile dysfunction, but it's not fully understood like which one comes first or how, how you're gonna get them. And there's, there's more research being done on these project processes. Um, research studies aren't huge uh, in regards to this particular topic, but it is, there are research studies on testosterone, which of course is linked to erectile dysfunction. Um, and, but numerous studies have shown sleep apnea and erectile dysfunction in men are intertwined. Uh, one example is, between the two is low testosterone and sleep deprivation. Uh, the slide that I put up here, um, the effect of sleep loss on testosterone levels was apparent after just one week of short sleep in healthy young men. Uh, five hours of sleep or less decreased testosterone levels by 10 to 15%. And of course, and then you have no energy. We all know exercise helps raise our testosterone levels. And when you don't sleep enough, you don't have enough energy. And of course, poor diet is going to cause issues with your, your testosterone, and your energy levels. And when we don't sleep enough, we eat to compensate for energy. It's this cyclical, cyclical process. Um, age and lifestyle are, of course, factors, as I mentioned, you know, exercising and things. Um, and <clears throat> they help, they're, they're help. The exercise and uh, lifestyle are factors in healthy testosterone levels and sexual function. Um, the sleep is something within our control, though. We can control most of the time how many hours of sleep we're getting. Unless there's a problem such as obstructive sleep apnea, then we might need to seek uh, help. Um, and the condition, of course, sleep apnea occurs more prominently in men. Uh, there's a joke about uh, men going to the doctors and the two fastest ways to get there are in an ambulance and erection problems. So don't gamble. So some bad news on sleep and ED. Uh, in 2018, one research study found that a group of men with obstructive sleep apnea, just over half of them have an erectile dysfunction. 
Older studies showed up to 69% of men with sleep disorders experienced some form of sexual disruption. Of course, lack of sleep, energy, uh, affects testosterone and such. While age and lifestyle factors, uh, sleep is something we can control. You know, simple things is good sleep hygiene. You know, the general concept of getting enough sleep, okay? That while life is, can get in the way, more often than not, we are our own culprit. We are the reason why we're not sleeping enough. We go, we stay up too late, have to get up early. We're doing it to ourselves. So we're not shutting off. We're not shutting down early enough. And of course, sleep apnea for a lot of people is, is unknown. Like, I can't tell you how many patients I sit and talk to and I'm asking them the reasons why they're here and so on and so forth. And more often than not, it's somebody else told them to be here. So without this somebody else, they would be living their life free and clear and happy not even knowing they have sleep apnea, but suffering the consequences. Um, and of course, just something simple as snoring can be the massive link behind sleep apnea. And of course, feeling tired, exhausted all day long, a pretty telltale sign. If you're getting the hours of sleep and feel exhausted, something's happening while you're sleeping. <clears throat> so uh, impaired testosterone production, uh, sleep is your body's self-maintenance mode. Men produce uh, testosterone at night. And lack of quality sleep, uh, untreated sleep disorders like sleep apnea can reduce testosterone levels, lowering, of course, energy, strength, stamina, libido, and impair the ability to achieve and maintain that wonderful erection, which is, yeah, no, no thanks. Um, some more bad news, uh, sleep deprivation. Men who feel fatigued and stressed may experience sexual problems, decreased desire. Of course, stress, anxiety, depression, cognitive things, that, uh, that can play massive roles on it. But then there's, it, it, again, it, it's like, what, what started? Is it your anxiety, your stress, or depression that's causing your ED? Or did your ED now cause stress, anxiety, and depression because you know your performance is off? Um, poor performance of the ability to achieve an erection is going to keep you up at night, keeps the anxiety going. To improve the quality and duration of your night's rest, adopt good sleep hygiene. Here's five simple ways to boost your testosterone. What is the first one? Get a good night's sleep, okay? Seven to nine hours recommended. Of course, playing with your diet, um, decrease in sugar intake, getting some exercise, losing excess weight. Now, this one I did not know is getting enough zinc. That was interesting to me. It's, uh, zinc is also shown to have very good um, uh, immune system boosting properties. Um, and it's something that I honestly take zinc every day. I take a zinc tablet of 50 milligrams of zinc every single day. Didn't know I had anything to do with boosting testosterone, but I did know that it had massive uh, benefits on my immune system. <laughs> More bad news. One of the also reduced oxygen levels play a role in achieving in healthy erections. Um, of course, blood has to get the erection going and oxygen is going, lack of oxygen is going to uh, decrease cellular function and decrease energy levels. Um, and long-term deficiency could lead to bigger problems. Obviously, lack of oxygen is going to affect your heart, but you're going to have issues with energy levels and yeah, not being able to get it up. If you snore or experience sleep disruptions, you're more likely to experience effects of reduced blood oxygenation that impact overall health in multitude ways, including increased incidences of erectile dysfunction. So again, checked. <clears throat> the, the picture here will show the major difference between optimal testosterone and low testosterone. Of course, the guy on the left, uh, he's, of course, the pictures of, of a guy who's fit and in shape. Um, you know, he's more mental focus, definitely has a higher muscle mass, good heart health, energy, bon strong bones, strong erections, and libido function. On the right, you're having run the risk of low energy issues. You have increased fat tissue. Um, it could have gynomastikina or the, the, the female sort of... Um, features. You can be very depressed. You can have uh, increased risk of ED and low libido, low sex drive. Um, and, and it has an increased risk of osteoporosis in men, which is not common uh, for guys to have. 
You know, studies show that treatment of obstructive sleep apnea will help e ease ED symptoms, uh, improving oxygen levels and overall sleep quality. In turn, boost natural testosterone production. Of course, you can see treatment for us for any sleep disorder is just a snoring, excessive daytime sleepiness, tiredness, headaches, irritability, difficulty concentrating, which are all significant symptoms of sleep apnea and poor sleep. Lifestyle changes, quitting smoking, reducing alcohol intake and losing weight um, can help uh, experience, especially if it's just intermittent erectile dysfunction. Um, and of course, you might as well err on the side of caution. If something's going on, again, it could, maybe it's an anxiety related thing. Maybe it's completely something that's uh, a one-off sort of moment, um, but it's a whole lot less painful dealing with the effects of sleep apnea than sleep apnea and erectile dysfunction. So, thank you much. Hopefully, everybody got something out of this. And do we have any questions or answers or concerns or chats? <laughs>